hello everyone thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button yet another sad story this is not a pleasant one at the moment because this particular incident that has happened is like a repetition of what has happened in this family it's sad to announce today that the senior pastor of the fountain of life bible church in lagos state nigeria that's pastor taiwo odukoya sadly has lost his wife that's Nomthi, and it was gathered that the South African wife was a clergy. She was heading that particular church. Sadly, she just passed away after battling cancer for two years. Isn't this a very painful one? Losing a family member is very, very difficult for you to come to terms with the fact that you're no longer going to see this person again for the rest of your life. And she's been sick. But unknown to a lot of people that she was battling cancer because she kept on with the work of God as though nothing was wrong with her. Even though she was going through her treatment as she would. But so sad that yesterday she gave up her ghost. However, in a post shared on Pastor Taiwo Odukoya's page, he said that him, his wife gave him 11 beautiful years of marriage and two boys. These were his exact words. With deep regret and gratitude to God, I have to announce the passing of my wife, Pastor Nothing Odukoya. She battled cancer for the better part of two years. She stood on the word of God and she fought. She gave me 11 beautiful years of marriage and two wonderful boys who I know will be very significant in life. I loved her with all my heart, but who am I to fight with the will of God? The truth is, at one point in our lives, we all will have to say goodbye. So for now, till we meet again in glory, goodbye, nothing. So this is what the husband had to pen down. You can see it's a very painful message he wrote down. It's not easy. Some people may look at him and feel that, Oh, this man has gotten over. Some people would look at him and feel, oh, he's so strong. But you wouldn't know the fight of a grieving man. You know, men would not express their pain out like women. Men, they cry inside or they will go lock themselves up and then cry out their pain. You know, the worst pain when you cry is the cry that you wouldn't bring out tears. That's the painful part of expressing your pain and that is how most men do they don't just come out loud and then express their cry only few men do that but you can see in his case that it's just completely different but notwithstanding he's so heartbroken that his wife has left him although they spent quality time together even though she was battling with the ailment he still gave her some time with her family. This thing, cancer, is one illness that is difficult for you to overcome. Only the grace of God that some people have been able to beat cancer. But cancer is one deadly illness that once you know someone that has that cancer, all you do is just to pray for God's intervention upon that particular person. It's just so, so sad. Also, Bishop David Oyedepo today, November 10th, visited Pastor Taiwo Odukoya to condole with him over the death of his wife, Pastor Nothim Odukoya. Oyedepo was also joined by his wife, Faith Oyedepo, Bishop David Abioye, and also Pastor Sam Olu Bio. So these are the pictures of the visitation which they had in the pastor's house. It's such a pity and it's so sad that she has left the surface of the earth. No one wished to part away from their loved ones. It's really hard to live without them. 
But what can you say? God has given and God has taken. The truth is that everybody will die someday. But you know, as humans, you can't just accept the death of your loved ones just like that. You would feel so sad and heartbroken knowing that whatever you share together, the closeness, the love, everything has ended in just that moment that the person is no longer breathing anymore. We all need to spend quality time with our loved ones while we can still see them. Because once anyone is gone, you can never get to see that person for the rest of your life. It's the painful thing about this thing called death. And this was a statement that was actually released this morning to notify the public of what has really happened with deep regret and gratitude to God. We have to announce the passing of our senior pastor's wife, Pastor Nothing Odukoya. She battled cancer for the better part of two years. She stood on the word of God and she fought. We loved her with all our hearts. But who are we to fight with the will of God? The truth is, at one point in our lives, we all will have to say goodbye. So for now, till we meet again in glory, goodbye, Pastor Nothing. These were the words that was actually released this morning. And if we can also recall that Pastor Taiwo Odukoya, who got married to Nothing in 2010, that was after the death of his wife, who a lot of people know her. She's very popular. That's Pastor Bimbo Odukoya, who passed away sadly in that plane crash, which happened in 2005. So sad that he's losing his wife again. After losing Pastor Bimbo Odukoya, now he's losing Pastor Nothing. It's just a very painful one. You'll be imagining how is he coping with all of this death surrounding him? It takes the grace of God for this pastor Taiwo to be strong. Imagine that you're with someone spending the rest of your life together and you feel that it's going to take a long time before you lose the person. Unknown to him that at the end, his wife would not stay again with him. After they got married, now she has left him again it's really sad we pray that the soul of pastor Namthi Odukoya rests in peace with the Lord may almighty God console her husband entire family friends well wishers everyone that knew her may God console them all it's just a painful one that this woman has left the surface of the earth again a lot of people will just be wondering what is really happening him losing his wife again it's just a very sad one it's so painful really losing someone it's very very hard for you to leave knowing that this person would not leave again but he is a man of god and from the words you can see that he's actually consoling himself with god's own words no one deserves to go through something like this losing a loved one close to your heart takes the grace of God for you to live with that pain. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could please put that down at the comment section. Once again, we pray that the Almighty God will console Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, his entire family and friends, and may the soul of Pastor Nothing rest in peace. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all. However, in a post shared on Pastor Taiwo Odukoya's page, he said that nothing his wife gave him 11 beautiful years of marriage and two boys. These were his exact words. With deep regret and gratitude to God, I have to announce the passing of my wife, 
passed on nothing, Odukoya. She battled cancer for the better part of two years. She stood on the word of God and she fought. She gave me 11 beautiful years of marriage and two wonderful boys, who I know will be very significant in life. I loved her with all my heart, but who am I to fight with the will of God? The truth is, at one point in our lives, we all will have to say goodbye. So for now, till we meet again in glory, goodbye, nothing. So this is what the husband had to pen down. You can see it's a very painful message he wrote down. It's not easy. Some people may look at him and feel that, oh, this man has gotten over. Some people would look at him and feel, oh, he's so strong, but you wouldn't know the fight of a grieving man. You know, men would not express their pain out like women. Men, they cry inside or they will go lock themselves up and then cry out their pain. You know, the worst pain when you cry is the cry that you wouldn't bring out tears. That's the painful part of expressing your pain. And that is how most men do. They don't just come out loud and then express their cry. Only few men do that. But you can see in his case that it's just completely different. But notwithstanding, he's so heartbroken that his wife has left him. Well, even though they spent a long time together before she passed, knowing that she was actually battling with cancer. But in the end, although they spent quality time together even though she was battling with the ailment he still gave her some time with her family this thing cancer is one illness that is difficult for you to overcome only the grace of god that some people have been able to beat cancer but cancer is one deadly illness that once you know someone that has that cancer all you do is just to pray for god intervention upon that particular person it's just so so sad however pastor also bishop david oyedepo today november 10th visited pastor taiwo odukoya to condole with him over the death of his wife pastor nothim odukoya oyedepo was also joined by his wife faith oyedepo Bishop David Abioye and also Pastor Sam Olu Bio. So these are the pictures of the visitation which they had in the pastor's house. It's such a pity and it's so sad that she has left the surface of the earth. No one wished to part away from their loved ones. It's really hard to live without them. But what can you say? God has given and God has taken. The truth is that everybody will die someday. But you know, as humans, you can't just accept the death of your loved ones just like that. You would feel so sad and heartbroken knowing that whatever you share together, the closeness, the love, everything has ended in just that moment that the person is no longer breathing anymore. We all need to spend quality time with our loved ones while we can still see them because once anyone is gone you can never get to see that person for the rest of your life it's the painful thing about this thing called death friends please if you have anything to say you can put that down at the comment section thank you for coming up today please do not forget to hit on the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.